Hi everyone, I'm Swati from India Hikes and you're watching Trek with Swati. In today's video, we're reviewing the NH150 Trekking Shoes by Decathlon. Uh, this is a shoe that lots of trekkers write to me about because they're in two minds about it. One is that it's a budget-friendly shoe. It's at 2,500 rupees compared to any other shoe at around 5-6 thousand rupees. This seems extremely affordable. So naturally everybody's eye goes towards it. Uh, on the other hand, it is not considered a trekking shoe. I think Decathlon marks it as an off-roading, hiking shoe as a coach. So lots of trekkers hesitate to buy it for a Himalayan trek, wondering whether it will work or not. So I thought why not pick it up myself, use it on a Himalayan trek and see what it's like because I myself wanted to know if it's something good for trekkers. So I'm just going to share with you what I found when I used it on my recent Himalayan trek. When you're buying a pair of trekking shoes, there are basically four things you need to look at and I've made a video on that in case you haven't watched it, the link is here on top. Um, I'm going to judge these shoes using the same criteria that is the grip in the shoe, the ankle support, the flexibility of the sole and also the water repellent aspect of the shoe. So let's see that. Um, first is a grip of the shoe. Now if you see the sole, this particular sole, I want you to take a good look at it. Um, this is a cross contact sole. And what most people don't know is that it's a very similar sole as the high-end models of the Decathlon shoes, uh, many other shoes that cost five, six thousand. This has very similar sole and when I used it on my Gidara Bugyal trek recently, it worked perfectly well. And I can say that with confidence because I trekked in snow, I trekked on ice, I trekked even in a little bit of water and along, on a lot of uneven terrain. So on all of these, this sole performed really well and I did not slip even once. So I was really impressed with the grip of the shoe and I think it's almost comparable to the high-end shoes. I did not find anything uh, negative about it. Second is the ankle support. So when it comes to ankle support, many people doubt this shoe and I don't uh, blame them because this has a fairly soft um, ankle support and people think that it needs to be firm, more padded to actually support your ankles. But that is not true. It is the length of the ankle support that matters and this one at a mid-ankle mid length um, works perfectly well. I trekked uh, there was this particular day when you were trekking in the forest we descended from nearly 13,000 feet to ten and a half thousand feet that's a three and a half thousand foot descent and throughout that on extremely shrubbery and leafy trails uneven trail it worked perfectly well I did not twist my ankle even once um, there was this one section where my ankle twisted a little bit but the ankle support was good enough to hold it back and not let me injure myself so the ankle support works perfectly well I have no qualms about it. Third is the uh, cushioning and the flexibility of the sole. Um, this is important because otherwise many trekking shoes are very hard and clunky and you don't really feel that flexibility you know. So this particular sole was extremely flexible because we climbed up on several boulders where my feet had to be in very different awkward positions. So it worked perfectly well. And what I liked is that it felt like an extension of my feet. It did not feel like I was wearing something very heavy and clunky on my feet. So I definitely liked that. Coming to the waterproofing of this shoe, uh, this is something that Decathlon actually says this does. It says waterproof uh, shoes. So this actually performed really well when I was walking in water as well. Because uh, on the trek, I walked in snow, which was shin deep. Of course, it was not like a winter expedition where there was snow every day. But there were substantial sections with snow where I was shin deep or sometimes ankle deep in snow. And this entire shoe was buried in snow and it came out uh, without getting wet. The outer part might have gotten a little wet but it dried up very quickly. Overnight even in those negative temperatures it actually dried up. Inside the insole did not get wet, my socks did not get wet so not for a second did I feel like my feet were wet or cold. So in that area it performed well. I want to add here that we even crossed a lot of streams, uh, small streams maybe we were in the water for like 30-40 seconds to one minute. Uh, I did not take off my shoes in many of these streams, just waded through or hopped and skipped over boulders. Even there, it water splashed on the shoe and it did not get wet. So I really thought it performed very well in water. Um, Finally, I want to come to one 
added benefit of this shoe is that it looks very good. Um, this is a woman's shoe. Um, they have a men's version also and they have a few colors. I like this particular color the best so I bought it. Uh, I thought it goes well with anything that you wear, any kind of trek pants. I can even wear it in Bangalore and roam around. So I thought it was a very good looking pair of trekking shoes which is frankly very rare uh, to find these days. At the end of the day if you ask me should I go for this pair of shoes then I would definitely say yes because many people think that the more you spend the higher the quality of the shoe and if you ask me that's an endless journey. You can spend 6, 7 thousand, 15, 25, 35 thousand on a pair of shoes. Is it worth it? I don't think so. So at India Hikes we've always believed that you spend less and trek more and which is why I bought this pair of shoes for myself. So if you're doing any trek like Kedar Kantha, Diorya Tal, even the tougher ones like Rupin Pass, Buran Ghati, Goechala, you can definitely use this pair of shoes and it will easily last you around 6-7 Himalayan treks of this caliber. Uh, it will also last you innumerable local treks. So don't think twice, go for it, it's a very good pair of trekking shoes. If you have used it yourself, I'd love to know your experience of it drop in a comment below if you have any doubts write to me on tws at indiahikes.com and i'll get back to you by the way we're making more such reviews of trekking gear so if you have any gear you'd like us to review just tell us in the comments below and also we have lots of trek talk and trekking tips coming up on our channel so hit subscribe and the bell icon next to it that's very important we're also active on instagram sharing the latest updates from the trekking world every day so follow us on all our social media accounts We'll be back with more. I'm Swati from India Hikes and you're watching Trek with Swati.